We're just getting started and we're kind of making a mess of things here in the boat already because it's a little chilly out. First big cold front of the year, 80 degrees six days ago and 39 this morning in far northern Minnesota and my buddy Scott Walsh and I are after some of those. <laughs> Wait till you see the color on this thing. Yeah. This thing is like blue and green on the back. Largo shed is choked and gone. And that's what we're chasing, a little northern Minnesota gold. Probably run into a few smallmouths and who knows, maybe a big northern up where we are. Woo, good start. That was beauty. That's a big walleye. Right. Big walleye. Nice. Okay, well, I'll be cold if this is the way our day is gonna start out. <laughs> yeah, beauty. Just a thick one, not, not, a thick one there. not as long as your fish. Just a, we'll take them though. Yeah, the fish is actually not very long at all. Yeah, but look at the girth. I mean, just the belly on that thing, you know, this is what they're doing here in the fall, right? You got water about 60 degrees, and these fish are banging on smelt, ciscos, tulabies. Later in the fall, when the bait fish come up shallow, water drops below 60 in the north country, the walleyes and the pike and the smallmouths come with them. Chunky. Boo. It's been a cool morning, you know. We got those first two fish just bang, bang, you know, literally back to back cast, and thought, here we go, because we were seeing fish on Mega Live, it was just a small hump but there was at least a dozen nice fish there. And we threw the tackle box at the other ones and never got bit again. So we started hopping spots, using our electronics to graph. Ended up on this spot here and there's fish all around us. There's a nice walleye there. The moon tail. We got to the boat, thought he was a smallmouth. Yeah, he <laughs> jump like a bass. Got a bad attitude. And then you got that smallie on a jigging wrap. Yeah. So there's a few around, but there's a lot of fish here. So we're going to try to figure out if we can't get them. And uh, Scott, we really like throwing the moon tails. I mean, all season long, right? Yeah, that moon tail is, it's such a cool bait. It's got like a kind of a sleek darting action on it. And it's just, it's fun to fish. It's almost like a, I don't know, I almost feel like you're fishing a jigging wrap with hair when you're snapping it. You know, it's just a cool, and once you, once you hook them on that thing, you don't lose them. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, that single hook on that, that, that tech set bend hook is just wicked. Saw that one come up and get it. I think it's I think it's a big one. It looked like a big one on live. I was kind of popping that Largo along, kind of fishing it almost like a moon tail, and I like wasn't getting bit. And uh, I just went to like a slow roll, ticking along the bottom, and. That oh. one just thumped it. It's a great big one. Great big one. Great big one. Back to back. <laughs> I mean, this is awesome. Oh, man. Wow. Well, this is turning into a fun fishing day, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, right? You just do whatever. You just throw up on the rocks and you catch these, like <laughs> cast after cast. Terrible. <laughs> right? 26 and a half, we'll call it. She's just, just over the board. He just, that Largo shad is gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That Largo shad is got all of it. Man, they hit that swim bait hard. <laughs> that's a fun, that's a fun bite. You're trying to fish that thing slow because the water's in the 50s and you're just crawling it along and all of a sudden it's just bam. Get her back. Pack the back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moon tail. We've been throwing jigging wraps at them, ripping blades, largo shads. Oh yeah, that's a nice These fish. Are a real real nice, nice fish. Real big. I mean, a real nice. Fish. This is why we come up here in the fall right here is for monsters like this. This is so fun. Oh, that's an eight pounder, I think. <laughs> that's a thick one. <laughs> Yeah. That's a thick one. Holy cow. Oh. 
which is not quite like that big of a fish. That's crazy. Oh, that's a real big one. What are you thinking it is there? Like a 28 incher probably? I don't know. Oh, it's several inches longer than the 26. 28, 29 maybe? 28 or 29. This is, this is a this is a nice one. Oh, boy. This is a really nice one. Oh boy. Come here. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay folks. You hear us giggling. You know why we come up to northern Minnesota in the fall. Yeah, that's a beauty there. Look at that. Just cross. Look at that. I'll get that out of her yep. She's got a grip on her there. We're not done fishing yet, folks. We're gonna give her a couple more hours here, but we got more than enough footage for a great show. For sure. It sure has been fun. If you'd like to get out in the fall and do some fishing, it's the best time of year for big ones. With my good friend, Scott Walsh, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.